welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be kind of new for me. I have been really loving Jenna Pierce's videos here on YouTube. She's like my new favorite YouTuber that I found. She does a lot of home decor videos, which if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm very into home decor. So she does a video that's sort of like a shop with me in a haul. However, um, when she's going through and taking you through the store, she shows you things that are like designer dupes. And then when she does the haul, she kind of tells you how she would style the items. And I really wanted to do something like that. So today's gonna be my first attempt at that. Basically, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, doing a shop with me. There was so many good designer dupes. I'm someone that like looks at home decor all day, every day, but places I would never shop because they're so expensive. So I found so many designer dupes at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna take you on a shop with me, show you any items that I found that I think are a really good designer dupe and what they're a dupe for. If you guys are not interested in that part, that's totally fine. You can fast forward right here to the haul where I'm gonna show you guys what I got and how I plan on styling it and then the next video will be a decorate with me. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm sorry if my voice is a little extra nasally in today's video. <sighs> we had, um, <clears throat> We had COVID a couple weeks ago, and then as soon as we got over it, I don't know if my immune system was just down from having COVID, but William brought home like a really nasty head cold or flu, or I don't know what it was from preschool, and that knocked us down for like an additional week and a half. So, been carrying around tissues with me, and I just wanna get this video up already. I feel like I have been sitting on it forever because I was like, oh, I'm sounding too nasally. But you know what? Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Also, I hope that this ring light lighting is okay. Typically I don't use a ring light, I usually use natural light, but it is so dark out today and I wanted to try out my new ring light. So I do see that it's kind of reflecting in my glasses a little bit, so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. But anyways, let's just get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little fast because I have a lot of items that I found to show you guys. So I brought my little helper into Home Goods, and the first thing I was drawn to were these seagrass woven baskets. They look like identical to the ones they sell at Serena and Lily that go for like 100, 200, 250 dollars. And I really loved these ones that have like the black and white coil detailing. Now they're still a little pricey here. They're like 40 or 50 dollars depending on the sizing. So I haven't quite bit the bullet on buying one yet just because that's a little bit more than I like to spend. But you cannot deny that that is an amazing deal compared to how much they go for online. Now, this next item was this accent table, and watching this back, I kind of regret that I didn't buy it. It was on sale for $39. I'm in need of an accent table. However, this one was just a little too yellow for me. I wish it was a little bit more neutral. Speaking of accent tables, I noticed a lot of these like mother of pearl accent tables, and there's a lot of ones similar online, like at Pier One, that go for $400, $500, and they had a ton in different colors here for like $50 or $60, which I feel like is a great price for any accent table, but especially for one that has this much detail and would add so much interest and texture into a space. So I saw these lamps, I loved them, and I knew I had seen some online, and when I went home and looked it up, they were selling ones similar for almost $400, and I was able to get two of these for $29.99 each. And they also had these similar baskets, which on Serena and Lily go for like $60, and they had them for $9.99. I feel like these would be perfect for like linen closet store storage, for in the bathroom with like um, washcloths or even toilet paper. You could use it on a desk or on your coffee table to hold remotes or even on like a bookcase just for decor. But I felt like for $9.99 these were a steal and they were so pretty. So a great way to save money but have like really pretty wall art is to get these large frames with the big matting at Home Goods. They're very expensive online if you look at like Studio McGee, Pottery Barn, any of those websites, but they're really reasonably priced at Home Goods. And all you have to do is go on Etsy and you can buy a print, or of course you can put like a family photo, and I feel like it makes a space look really high end without spending as much money.
Another thing that I really have been loving are these wooden links. I have seen them all over design websites. They're pretty expensive online and they had a ton of different options at HomeGoods for $19.99. There were some bigger ones that were like $29.99. But online, some of them are going for like $100, which to me is insane for a tiny little accent piece. I did want to show this mirror. I thought it was really pretty. I loved like the rattan detailing on the outside and I felt like it was a pretty good price $130 for this huge mirror something I love to look for at home goods is risers I feel like risers can add a lot to a space I think they're great for like in the kitchen if you want to use it and put like your soap on by the sink, but also just to add any height. So something else that I love to look for at Home Goods is planters. I feel like they have all different kinds. I've been really into adding texture in this new house. I feel like my style has changed a lot over the last year and I've been really loving the look of like the aged planters, ones that look a little bit more vintage, ones that are ceramic or stone, cement, and they just had all sorts of different ones. And I also noticed that these ones I was looking at originally looked identical to ones I had seen on Pottery Barn's website. And these were like $10, $15, which is just insane. Now I really regret not getting this coffee table book. I have been loving decor with coffee table books. I just feel like if you're not sure how to style a coffee table, which if you've watched any of my previous previous decorating videos, I feel like that's something that I usually struggle with. I'll do so well until it gets to the coffee table. But these coffee table books are perfect. All you have to do is like stack two of them on top of each other, add a candle, add a plant, even just put a remote on top and it looks styled. And I regret not getting this book. It was $24.99 and I wasn't sure if I should get it. And when I went back the next day, it was gone. And online, I think it sells for like $40. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show was this really big mirror from Hobby Lobby that I saw. It was typically $300. So as you know, Hobby Lobby always goes on sale. So whenever it was on sale, it was $150, but they actually had it on sale for $74. So I did end up taking it home with me. glasses on for now and just hope that they're not too distracting so I got a bunch of stuff behind me in my hand to decorate with that I wanted to show you guys so this is the haul and then I have a decorate with me coming soon using all of these items as well as some other items that I got so the first thing that I'm going to start with is books I have been really into decorating with books recently. I don't know what it is, but it's a new concept to me and I know everyone else has been doing it for ages but at my old house I had I never decorated with books. I did like at Christmas time, but I don't know why I never thought to use it for like coffee table styling or just up in the kitchen. So I've been taking advantage of the books that are at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, Marshalls. If you are ever looking for coffee table books, look at those stores. Even if you go on Amazon, they're just not as cheap. They're so overpriced. However, I wanted to mention this right now. Target is having a sale on certain books. I'll have them linked down below if you're interested. They're doing like a buy two, get one free on certain like home decor, like coffee table styling books basically. So I'll have some linked down below because I felt like I really lucked out finding that sale. It wasn't like advertised anywhere. I just happened to be looking at the books. So anyways, the ones I picked up, these are gonna be used for the kitchen because they are like kitchen cookbooks. So I got this for $14.99. And this is the Magnolia table. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'll ever use a recipe. I mean, I should, there's a lot of recipes in here. Maybe I will, but I purely bought this for decor. I like how it is just like a beige neutral with black writing. I think it's really pretty to be like propped up in the kitchen or even like styled on a table. I don't know, it's just very neutral. <laughs> I'm gonna try taking them off for a little bit. Oh, okay, so the next book I got, once again, didn't even really look into it, but it has like tons of awesome recipes in it. Um, this is Half Baked Harvest Every Day, and it was $16.99. Once again, I chose it for the spine, so my, what I plan on doing with these is having them in the kitchen 
backed up, you only see the spines. Maybe there's like a candle, maybe there's an oil, like an olive oil container, just something like that. So all I really all I cared about was the spine. Okay, so the next thing my mom actually got me, but this was only a $4.99 at Home Goods. I think it was Home Goods. And this is so pretty. So I have just been wanting something to put my olive oil in so that it wasn't just the regular olive oil. I use olive oil on like everything. And I didn't want the clear ones. I almost got one of the clear ones that you always see like at every store. But I was like, you know what? I want to find one that's like has a little bit more character. So I thought this was awesome. And for only $4.99. Oh, okay, there we go. But it's kind of like an off-white. So the next thing that I have been looking for is candles. So I found this one and it was $8. It is a soy candle. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a really light pink. I just thought it was really pretty. The next candle is more of like a typical looking candle. However, I did want a white candle with a wood lid for the kitchen just because I felt like it would fit with the colors in there. So this one was $7.99. Okay, so the next thing that I bought with the kitchen in mind, and I was definitely inspired by Jenna Pierce on this because I have never been a fan of lamps in the kitchen. I know at my old house, we had like a very dark kitchen and people used to be like, put a lamp on the counter. And I always thought, a lamp on the counter? Like, I don't know how that would look. Okay, Jenna Pierce did it and it looks amazing. <laughs> so I got a lamp for the counter. Now this was, I wanna say it was from Target. I already took the tag off. I will have everything that I can link linked down below. But this just reminded me of like Studio McGee or like Pottery Barn, um, maybe like Serena and Lily. It's got a, it's got a really pretty texture on the bottom. And then it's got this gold base with like an off-white cream lampshade. And I just thought it was so pretty and it was the perfect size for the kitchen. And let me tell you, I've actually been using it on the counters and it helps so much. It just brightens up the whole space, especially if you don't have like under cabinet lighting. And then once again, a little quick, like an easy styling tip. Does it cost a lot of money you don't need a lot of pieces for? Grab some of your favorite cookbooks or any books that have like a really pretty spine, a tiny little lamp. I wanna say this was like 10 or $15 and just put those up on your kitchen counter and I feel like it just adds a little bit something, a little decor, makes it a little homier. So the next thing I got because I've been wanting to add some height. So adding height for like, I don't know, anything. I got this and this was actually from Hobby Lobby. It was $24.99, but never buy anything full price from Hobby Lobby. The whole store goes on sale every other week, if you don't know that. So half the store goes on sale one week and then the other half will go on sale the next week, 50% off always. So this was $12 and I just thought it was great to add some height. I think when I was actually doing the decorating part of the video, I put this on there and then put a little candle or like a little salt container. Um, I could even do like the olive oil. Anything to kind of just like elevate the space a little bit and add some more texture. I really wanted to add some more wood and stuff like that into the kitchen. Okay, so the next thing I got, which I really like, this was from Home Goods and this was $7.99. Look how pretty this is. So it is a spoon rest. And obviously, as you can see, the theme of what I'm trying to do is add more texture, more natural tones, more wood tones, stones, things like that. Um, I don't know, I've really been into like the Studio McGee, Amber Lewis, Pure Salt Interiors, like that kind of look recently, if you know any of those designers. And they play a lot with like texture, natural stuff, stone, wood. So I saw this spoon rest and I thought it was so pretty. Okay, and then the next thing I got, which I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna keep um, because I went to at home, the store at home today, and I saw one I liked a little bit more because this one is kind of small. I was thinking I could add some height by once again putting it on this riser, but this was from Hobby Lobby, originally $27.99, so on sale for like 14 and I just thought it was really pretty. And I was thinking, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I would put in here, I'm gonna be honest. But I just liked how it looked on the counter. But I do kinda wish it was a little bit taller. It is food safe. I don't know, I, I tried putting it under this, but it still feels too short for under the cabinets. 
but I really liked this little like woven um, like wicker rattan feel. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, but I did, that is something that I got. Okay, something else. Now you're gonna see like a lot of wood coming into play. Another riser, I know. I'm like really wanting to add height onto things. I just feel like sometimes a space, especially like the kitchen counters, won't feel complete because I'll put everything on there and I'll be like, why does it not look good? And it's just because everything's too short. So just adding like a little riser and lifting everything up can make such a big difference. So this is $24.99 at Hobby Lobby, so on sale for 12. I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty. Something else I've never thought of before until I started watching Jenna's videos. Sorry, I can tell I'm getting really congested again, so I think I'm getting more and more nasally as the video's going on. I have never thought of putting pictures up where your like backsplash would be. We don't have a backsplash, but up on that wall behind the counters, I would have never thought to like hang a picture up there, but she does it and it looks amazing. And I did it in my decorating video and even James, my husband, was like, wow, it looks really good. And my mother-in-law came over and complimented it. So. I got this to put in the kitchen, which might seem weird, but I promise it looked good. So on sale, so this was $13.99. $13 it looks so pretty and adds so much, but it's so cheap. So on sale, it was like $7. Okay, another thing which I love doing is taking cutting boards and using them as decoration because then it can be functional, but it can also be decor. So this was from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I don't have a price tag on it. I definitely would not buy something for over like $15 or $20. So I wanna say it was less than that. But I like this because it was a little bit of a different shape. I wanted something since we don't have a backsplash just to add some more interest, add some more height, add another texture. So I thought this was perfect because you can use it against your backsplash as a piece of decor. I know I keep showing the same things over and over again, but just imagine this on the backsplash, these, maybe this in front of it. It just adds a little more interest. And then if you need a cutting board or if you're having people over, you need something for a charcuterie board or whatever, you have it, it's functional. So I did get that. So something else I got was this candle, $12.99. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I wanted like wood and now I'm like, okay, you got a lot of wood. <laughs> I'm like, you got wood, all right. Okay, and then the next thing I got was this from Hobby Lobby. I don't know where the tag is, but once again, I would not buy this if it wasn't cheap. <laughs> so I want to guess it was like on sale, maybe like $7 or something. And then I just got some little eucalyptus branches from Hobby Lobby. So they're originally $10, so on sale for five. I just plopped them in there just to add some greenery. With all of these wood tones I had going on and all the creams, I definitely felt like I needed to add florals or greenery, so I thought that this was perfect and they went together really well. Okay, something else that I found that I really liked were these pot holders. And I thought these were great because once again, it's something that's functional but can be used as decor. So I, after doing my decorating video, had these kind of hanging on the knob. So using them as decor, having them styled on the knob like this, and it just looked really pretty and added, once again, another color, another texture, yada yada. Yeah, they were $6.99 for two of them, and I really like them, and they're functional. So I've seen these at a lot of TJ Maxx's if you're looking for them. Okay, two more things, and that's it. So I got two of these. My original plan was to use these in my master bedroom makeover. So I am in the process of filming a master bedroom makeover, and the living room and the kitchen is definitely more warmer tones, but in the bedroom, I kinda wanna go back to my roots and what I've always done like at the old house and do more like bright and white and like I'm very into like modern coastal, like I I'll, I just always lean toward coastal items. What is that show on Netflix? Grace and Frankie, their house. I loved their house. But anyways, this reminded me so much of like a Serena and Lily piece, which those are so expensive. I would. I've never bought anything from there, but I love everything from there. And I just thought it was so pretty. These were $39.99 each. They were a little too small for my bedside tables, 
I kept one for my office. I returned one and I really, really like it. I think it is so, so pretty, but they are a little bit smaller on the smaller side to go on like a nightstand. If you see compared to this one, it's not small. It's just too small next to my bed. So there's that. And the last thing I promise is another lamp that I like but I regret buying because I already took the tag off and now I can't return it. But it's from Hobby Lobby. I want to say it was like $60 on sale. I think it's really pretty. It reminded me of something that you would see like Studio McGee or Amber Lewis designs. Like one of those interior designers. It's like black. Um, it's got kind of like a copper undertone. White. Really pretty. I just don't know what to do with it. I've put it in like every possible room. I don't know what to do with it. So yeah. I bought it though, and I can't return it, so. <laughs> okay, so that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed and are looking forward to the decorating video where I will be taking all these items and decorating the kitchen. I just have tons of videos that I'm excited about. If you don't know, we just moved into this new house a few months ago, so I have tons of rooms to decorate, organize, clean. I'm still gonna be doing my moving vlog series. I'm in the process of filming another one. How long can I get away with posting movie vlogs? I know I've probably passed the time limit, but I feel like it's still relevant because it's things that we're doing while we're moving in, like unpacking or like the renovations that we've been doing upstairs. I say renovations, but we didn't plan on renovating anything. We just had a major flood when we moved in and mold and all that stuff. But anywho, I have that coming up. And yeah, I hope that you guys choose to stick around. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see future videos. It would mean so much to me. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel so, so much. And thank you guys so much for watching.